Hey guys, Geek41 here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Walking Dead Series 3 Michonne's Pet 1 and 2. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, hold on. Very bad way to start a review, I'm sorry, but um, I had a cough. I have, I have a cough, so don't mind me in the review, but today we're going to be doing a review on these two guys. Um, as you can see, um, uh, these guys... Yet again, our old figures. Let me just. I'm not really a fan of the way I'm holding the camera, so. Uh, these guys are very old figures. Uh, they were released in March of 2013. And I got them from GameStop as a gift for my aunt. And uh, we're going to be reviewing them. So. Um, there's nothing really to talk about. These are zombies from Michonne. Um, I decided to do these reviews separate. I, I was thinking I was going to do. Uh, three of them together, but it would have put, put a lot of time in my reviews, and I didn't want that to happen, so I did them separately, so, yeah, but these are Michonne's pets, uh, let's, lo let's look at pet number one first, or, yeah, uh, this is by far the coolest one, I like this one more, uh, I think it looks much cooler, it looks a more cooler, uh, you can see the detail is amazing, I'm not going to be able to get much detail, I'm sorry, but, maybe, let me just, let's see, you see that, well, there's a lot of detail on this figure, um, but, yeah, the detail is awesome. And let me remove the base. And let me get all this junk on the table. God damn it. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay. Alright. So, uh, the figure has a lot of detail. The detail is awesome. Uh, he has a lot of blood on him. A lot of cool effects. I'm not going to be getting the... I don't have good lighting, sorry, but... Yeah, so, there's the detail. The eyes are pretty nice and clean. Um, the eyes have a, uh, they have green pupils and yellow replacing the white. Uh, the jeans are very dirty. As you can see all the mud. That should be very visible, too. Uh, the chain is real metal. He's, he's sagging. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say it, but... He is sagging red underwear pants, and I'm not going to remove the back pack, I'm sorry, but under there, there's um, wounds and gutting wounds in there. But yeah, so, uh, nothing too much, he's pretty cool. Um, articulation, he has a 360 in the, uh, in the waist, ball joint head, 360 in the upper thigh, and that's it. Accessories, come on guys. Um, the accessories he comes with is he comes with two pairs of arms and these have articulation they have 360 they have rotation they have a bend at the elbow and they have rotation in the hand if I put these hands on There he is. Um, he comes with the jaw, which is a biatch to get on, so I'm not going to hassle with that, but if you want to look at that, there you go. Very tiny jaw. So, close with the jaw. So, and there's his arms. So, there you go. Amazing figure nonetheless. Now, that's the figure. Um, this is Michonne's pet one. He's my favorite because his face looks cool. And I think he's the boyfriend of Michonne or the brother. I don't know, but yeah. But he looks cool. I'm going to put him off to the side. Now, let's look at 
Pet 2. Pet 2 has a lot of differences. Um, he uh, had a sad occasion with him. Uh, I lost his shotgun that he came with. And uh, I don't have the package, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. But he has, he has a shotgun, and he comes with the sheriff bag. The shotgun would uh, holster right there. And he'd slide down there, and I... Uh, this figure took a shelf dive. If you don't, if you don't know what that is, the figure just falls over. Uh, and I had the base on, so it was my fault because the shelf was like that, and I had a lot of room accumulated. And it went Whoosh! so nothing broke, but shotgun got lost. So um, yeah, uh, pretty good figure. Same same exact thing, just different pose. Uh, he has more of like a <laughs> pose. And he and he has more of a <laughs> pose, so uh, yeah, he's definitely the ugly brother. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't like his head sculpt. It, it, I like the head sculpt. The paint is awesome. I just don't like it in the show the way he looks. He looks weird, but he looks deformed. But he's a zombie, so I guess would. I'm not gonna move the backpack because it was a bitch to get on. Uh, he has blood wounds there and the backpack is removable he has a metal chain his ball joint uh, head has his articulation 360 in the waist 360 swivel 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 same exact articulation um, so yeah uh, same exact thing uh, accessories comes with the base comes with the base he comes with two pairs of arms which I'll just connect same exact, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, jeez, uh, same exact <laughs> articulation, 360 and a bend, definitely a rotation, so the good thing about the arms is you can bend it all the way like that, so you can be like, ah, oh, I broke an arm, so, uh, just pay him in, right there, and then he comes with the jaw, so I'm gonna put the piece in there, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, there's the face. Um, the jaw wants to pop out now. Yep, uh, yeah. I, okay, I don't care for the jaws, but... So there he is with his arms. Yeah, that's silly. But, it's still cool they included the arms. I mean, that's good on McFarlane's part. Because these figures are, if you think of it, boring. Uh... Now, if Michonne, now if she'd have, if, uh, these pets were not that meaningless in the show, I wouldn't have her. Uh, I bought Michonne and these two pets. Uh, they, they, they were the only three, uh, Walking Dead figures at GameStop, so that's cool. I bought them all, so screw you guys. I'm joking. I'm joking. But, um, I bought them because without these pets and Michonne, if I bought Michonne, these guys are needed. It's like a puzzle piece. But, there you have it. The review of the Michonne's Pet 1 and 2. Um, I'm going to give these guys... <coughs> my rating... I'm going to give them a... Uh, for a fan rating, a 10 out of 10. For a critical rating, for a critical... If kids want to play with them, I don't know why. I give them a 5 out of 10. The playability on them are not that good. Educational-wise, He's they're very detailed. And the paint is awesome. So definitely, I would give them an 8 out of 10. I changed my rating to 8 out of 10. So there you have it. The Walking Dead figures. Stay tuned for more reviews. And, uh... Which girl has this machete and cut off their heads? That review is coming next. So like, favorite, subscribe, and see you guys later. Keep your geek on.